Hello and welcome. This is Honeysuckle with another episode of Lake. I believe this is our third day. So we have, let's see how many packages we have. Let's see, we have Lake Road, Main Street, and Pine Street. Okay. Just close that up. We don't need a package right now. Looks like lots of letters to deliver. Good morning, P.O. It's time for a P.O. positive or that P. Okay. okay, folks. Let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve. Returned videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Duly noted, Angie. And now on to today's weather. We can enjoy okay. the sun and the morning. I think uh, one of the packages we have to deliver is right here at the video store. Hopefully we brought our video to return and hopefully we rewound it. Alright, this is 351 Main Street. So that'll be that one. Let's pick it up. That. Buddy, you drove all over the curb. Speed walk our way in here. Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely, being the only movie buff around. Um... Uh, I'm just gonna say that. You seem to enjoy being the expert, though. Are you saying I feel superior to these rubes? Because... <laughs> I guess I do a little. You know, it's good to see you. Any particular reason? Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. Is that the plan? No, but it's where I'll discuss the plan. You in? Sure. All right. I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place. It's 102 New Street, right? Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. Okay. Oh, well. It's settled then. See you at five, partner. Partner. Are we are partners doing what exactly? Well, let's just have press movies. Okay. Let's get out of here. We have plenty of letters. Whoa, dude. Didn't you see me walking here? Okay. Let's get down here and deliver these letters. We have one, looks like right here. Um, is it this one? I think it's this one. We'll pull in here anyway. I'm sure it won't let me deliver it if it's the wrong one. Well, he had several letters. Very good, very good. Now this speed walk is not very speedy. 
somebody coming. Let's just back out into the street. Um, check our map because I don't think we have anything more down there. No, we need to turn around. Alright, let's, uh, just do a 20 point turn there in the street. We'll come down here. Right down here on the end. One of these. Maybe that one? 302 Jackson Street. Is this it? Okay. And yes, I know I can get in the passenger door, but that's not very realistic, is it? Alright, hope they don't mind me using their driveway to turn around. Alright, next. We have a stop sign. Let's check our map, just get an idea. We need to turn right. Got a letter, a package. Oh, looks like lots of packages. Alright. All the way around. Alright, turn right at this street. Whoop, run over the curb a little bit. Looks like right here on the corner. Yep, yeah, alright. This is fine. There's not enough traffic to care about blocking the street. Alright. Then we need to come back out here to the... Can we just go straight down? Yeah. Nope, let's take a left and deliver this parcel. Let's stop at the stop sign. Anybody coming? I don't see anybody. They'll stop for me. Please don't be the crazy cat lady. Is this the house? Parcel 102 Pine Street. Yep, we have a parcel. So, uh, which door should I try? I'll try the front door. Nope. No answer. There you go. Maybe they won't get it stolen. Barely see it. But package thieves know what to look for. Alright. All right, let's get these deliveries done. I'll see you at the next house. Alright, here we go. This is a letter. Alrighty. And I'll see you at the next house. Alright, back up here to this guy. You didn't like his last letter. Up in wood. There's a face I remember. Hi, Robert. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets
gets worse every day. More bull crap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it and build apartments. Hello. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. Don't do that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well... Maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Bye, Robert. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Oh, Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together? Tomorrow afternoon? At Moe's? Food and drinks on me. Sure? Mm, sure. Who can say no to food and drinks at Moe's? Awesome. I'll see you there then. I'll bring all the paperwork. Okay. Bye. Alright, so I've got a date for tonight with the video clerk and now tomorrow with Robert. Alright, let's get turned around. Go through the covered bridge. I love this bridge. Alright. And looks like we've got a little bit to go for our next one, so I will meet you there. Oh, okay. Looks like this is Moe's Donner. We have to deliver a package to. No, oh, please. The hocus lady doesn't try to get me to drink again. Alright. 500 Lake Road. There we go. Is it Maureen? There she is. Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fun day? I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie? Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. <gasps> How's life treating you, darling? It's all right, yeah. It's all right, actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yes, she told me. How did that go for you? I think I put my foot in it, to tell you the truth. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you, especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? Well, this diner sure did. Glad you noticed. I like what you did with the place. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? What? Oh my gosh, Maureen, Stan died? I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Wow. Oh, boy, did I love that man. Oh, we've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. 
like That's this. Really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. <sighs> she took her uncle's death pretty hard. I wish I'd known. Oh, sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, <laughs> look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? They might have. I've been so involved in work. Oh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Oh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. No, it was good to see her. It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's oh, okay. too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. Hmm. No, she remembered the blueberry pie. She just the cook is not giving it, so. Hand on my heart, I will return as soon as I have a delivery. Or sooner. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. <laughs> Bye, Maureen. In fact, I'll be there tomorrow to meet Robert. Alright, that was a good that was a good visit. I liked that one. Maybe we can work things out with our old friend there. Alright, so next on our list, let's just take a quick look. We are all the way down here at the bottom at Moe's Diner. Uh, no, up here. And, alright, East Crossroads. Oh, we have to pick up Mortimer. Yep, let's go do that. Alright, I will meet you there. Nobody coming. Shoot across. It's right here. Which means I do have to go talk to the crazy cat lady again. All right. That looks like Robert's truck. I like the sounds. It sounds like you're walking on wood. SpongeBob and Patrick are still there, I see. Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? Yes. I'm having fun. Yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. All right, we got Mort in the box. So let's go put him in the truck and take him back to Crazy Cat Lady.
Well, it looks like my mail bag is still full of mail, but, uh, hmm. We don't have any more mail deliveries. All right, there you go. Mortimer, put you in the back, and you're going to be right there on the seat. All right, now deliver Mortimer to Crazy Cat Lady. I cannot remember her name. Mildred Jenkins? I don't know. Don't pull out in front of me. Seriously? Did you not see me coming? You had a stop sign. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, crazy cat lady is... I see the cat on the roof. It's right here. Let me just pull up here behind your little car. Oh, you've got a cat on your mailbox. Look who's back! Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! Um... I'll just tell her the truth. Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's... It's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. No? Okay, bye, cats. Got so many cats. At least you got my uh, name right this time. I may unlock an achievement. Cat lover. Alright, so we're just going back to the post office. Whoops. Sorry about your fence. So, that's the end of the day, and I guess when we go home, we'll meet up with uh, the video rental girl. So, we'll just meet up when we get done at the post office. Alright, and here we are no, back home. No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you with your computer background. Alright, I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. Well, I'm off duty. For a while. Good for you. So, any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? Hmm. Eh, it's complicated. Multiple reasons, I guess. Push and pull. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower, for another. Um, yeah, let's just cut the chit-chat. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you 
to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. I remember those. I've actually used one when I was little. Yeah. Because my mom wanted to get a VCR, my dad wouldn't let her, so she rented one of those machines from the video store and rented a western movie that my dad would like and just had it playing when he came home and he sat down and watched it and she said yeah it's a movie you can watch the movie anytime you want and pause it and that convinced him that we could get a VCR so let's say we've heard of these oh right I think I've heard of these never seen one though I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Okay, but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you! Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which I guess is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? Yeah, the mechanic. The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and a nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? All right, I'm in. All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. Okay, I understand. I understand. Talk to you soon? Absolutely. Bye, babe. Hmm. Uh oh. Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad! How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? Yes. I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Uh, Frank's quite the character indeed. Um, I haven't actually talked to Frank that much, but okay. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. Uh oh. He plays as a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. And what about Bert Mackey? Bert. Uh, Bert doesn't like to talk much. He's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand By Me. Uh, about four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Okay, then. Um, let's open our agenda. We do need to review the Edit 87. Oh, okay. All right. So let's work on that. All right. 
here we go. All right, it is raining. <laughs> so I think we're going to end the episode here and we will come back to do this day on our next episode. We'll see you then. Bye.